when you want to tie two ropes together, there are several knots that can be used. Which one you pick depends on what you want to achieve. We start with the sheet band. To tie the sheet band, create a bight in one rope. This will form an eye. Next, take the other rope and feed it through this bight. The sheet band performs best when it stays loaded. Continuous loading and unloading might lead to the sheet band becoming undone. Take the small rope and go underneath the blue rope. Further in this video, we show you knots that are more reliable and stronger. To finish the sheet band, we take the working end of the small rope and go underneath its own standing part. This causes it to pinch on itself when being loaded, and therefore assuring its grip. When the load is released, the grip will loosen. Next, we move on to a more secure knot to tie two ropes together. It's called the Flemish band. We start by forming a basic figure eight stopper knot. The figure eight itself is a very useful knot to learn because it forms the basis for several functional knots. Make sure not to tighten the figure eight yet because now we will retrace it with the red rope. This will form the actual connection between the two ropes. The Flemish band is very reliable. It is even safe to climb on. The advantage of the Flemish band is that it is easy to inspect. Make sure you keep following the flow of the original figure eight knot that we tied in the blue rope. We sped up the process a bit because finalizing the Flemish band is just as simple as retracing the original figure eight knot. If it is too fast, you can always pause or slow down. All right, the final knot is probably the most used knot to tie two ropes together. It is called the double fisherman's knot. If you tie this knot in two ends of the same rope, you can make a very strong loop. The double fisherman's knot is safe to climb on. We start by laying the ropes next to each other. We start working with the blue rope. We cross over the red rope. Make sure to pull enough rope through to form the knot. In climbing, you want to make sure that there is a bit of tail end sticking out of the knot. Next, we form two wraps around the ropes. If you only make one wrap, it's a fisherman's knot. Now that we make two, it's a double fisherman's knot. If you make three, well, you get the point. To finalize the first knot, we poke the working end through the wraps. And then, we pull it tight. To make this a little bit easier, you can stick your index finger through the wraps. Make sure to keep following the red rope all the way up. We are halfway there. As you might have noticed, the rope still slides around. To stop this from happening, we need to repeat the process and also tie a double fisherman's knot in the red rope. When that is done, the two knots will not be able to slip through each other anymore. Because the process of tying a double fisherman's knot in the red rope is basically the same as in the blue rope, we decided to sped it up. 